hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel in this video tutorial i will show you how to fix nba 2k 26 game crashing not launching won't launch crashing at startup or crashing to desktop freezing problem not loading stuck on loading screen or black screen problem on pc so without wasting any time let's jump to the fixes first fix is to check the system requirement so go to the steam store page and in the system requirement section you can check the requirements for the game you can see direct x version 12 is required in additional load ssd is required dual analog gamepad recommended and the initial installation requires one time internet connection for steam authentication software installation required included with the game that include direct x and visual c plus plus redistributable files and in order to play the NBA 2K26 game on PC, you need a processor capable of supporting AVX2 and a graphic card capable of supporting DirectX feature level 12.0. So these are the requirements. Make sure your PC meets this requirement to play the game. Now let's move to the second solution. Second fix to modify the game launch options. So open Steam, right click on NBA 2K26 game and select properties. In the launch options, type minus DX11 and then close the tab and then launch the game and check. If that doesn't work, then repeat the process and this time type minus DX12 in the launch options. Close the tab and then launch the game and check. If it's still not working, then remove this command from here and then follow other fixes mentioned in this video. Third solution is to run NBA 2K26 game as an admin. So open Steam, go to library, right click on NBA 2K26 game, click on manage, browse local files, it will open the game installation folder. The path is C drive, program files, x86, steam, steam apps, common, and ba 2 k 26 folder. Now here, right click on nba 2 k 26 exe file and select properties. Then go to compatibility tab and tick mark run this program as an administrator. Hit apply, OK. Then launch the game from the game installation folder from here itself and then check. Fix for is to modify the compatibility setting. Again go to the compatibility tab and this time select run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 8. Hit apply OK. Then launch the game and check. If that doesn't work then from the drop down select Windows 7. Hit apply OK. Then launch the game and check. If it's still not working then this time select disable full screen optimization option also. Hit apply OK. Then launch the game and check. If it's still not working then remove these three boxes in compatibility tab and then hit apply ok and then follow other fixes mentioned in this video. Fifth solution is to allow NBA 2K26 through firewall or antivirus program. So in windows search type windows security and open it. Click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down. Click on manage ransomware protection. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app then click on browse all apps and then browse to C drive program files x86 steam steam apps folder common folder nba 2k26 folder and then select start protected game exe file and click open to add it to the list. Again click on add an allowed app and then click on browse all apps and browse to game folder and this time select nba 2k26 exe file and click open to add it to the list. Again click on add an allowed app and then click on browse all apps and browse to game installation folder. Now open the easy anti cheat folder then select easy anti cheat us setup exe file click open to add it to the list. Now go back. Now click on firewall and network production then click on allow an app through firewall then click on change settings then click on allow on another app then click on browse and then browse to game installation folder that is c drive program files x86 steam steam apps common folder and b 2 k 26 folder select start protected game exe file and click on open and add it after adding it make sure both private and public is ticked mark again click on allow another app and browse to game installation folder this time select nba 2k26 exe file click open and add it and make sure both 
private and public is tick mark after adding it. Again click on allow another app and browse to game installation folder. This time open easy anti cheat folder. Select easy anti cheat EOS setup exe file. Click open and then click on add. And after adding it, make sure both private and public is ticked marked and then click OK to save changes. Now you can launch the game and check. Now if you have installed any third party antivirus program on your PC such as Komodo, Avast, AVG, Casper Sky, Bitdefender or any other third party antivirus program then you have to allow this exe file through the through your antivirus program as well or you can simply disable your antivirus program for a while and then you can launch the game and check. Later on you can turn on your antivirus program. Sixth solution is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. So in Windows search type graphic settings and open it. Then click on add desktop app and then browse to C drive program files x86 steam steam apps common NBA 2K26 folder. Select NBA 2K26 exe file and click on add. After adding it, expand it and next to GPU preference select high performance. Then launch the game and check. Seventh solution is to close conflicting or unnecessary program. So disconnect external USB drive, mouse, disconnect additional joystick controllers, multiple monitor connected to PC, unplug the Logitech or Thrustmaster, racing wheel and the task for afterburner, Riva tuner, HW info, Razer Synapse or MSI Dragon Center from task manager. Close all of your tab to free up RAM and then relaunch the game and check. 8th solution is to disable steam overlay. So go to your steam library, right click NBA 2K26, then select properties. Turn off enable the steam overlay while in game. Disable discord overlay, launch discord on your PC, then click on gear icon in the app bottom left corner. Click on game overlay on the left panel and then toggle off the enable in game overlay option. Next disable nvidia overlay, open nvidia geforce experience settings general turn off in-game overlay similarly disable overlay in all apps or close all other overlay apps such as geforce experience nvidia shadow play overlay amd overlay and then launch the game and check fix 9 is to clear download cache so open stream click on word stream at the top left and select settings then go to download tab and next to clear download cache click on clear cache and after that launch the game and check if a problem is fixed or not now the 10th solution is to update graphic card driver. So update your graphic card driver and then launch the game and check. If that doesn't work then perform a clean installation of graphic card driver. Now if you are MD user then go to the MD website. If you are Nvidia user then go to Nvidia website. If you are using Intel graphic card then go to the Intel website. I am showing the example of Nvidia graphic card driver. So go to this Nvidia official website. Now when you are on the Nvidia site. Here you have to select your version of graphic card driver. Please remember this, you have to select your version of graphic card driver. Then select the operating system, then click on find. The first result will be the latest version of the graphic card driver. So you have to download and install it. So click on view, then click on download. Now once this exe file get downloaded, then run the downloaded exe file and select yes to allow and then click ok. You will see this screen, click on agree and continue. Then select custom advanced option and then click on next. Then tick mark perform a clean installation option then click on next. And after the clean installation of graphic card driver is done, restart your PC once and then launch the game and check. 11th solution is to install Visual C++ files. So go to this Microsoft official website. Link is provided in the video description. Scroll down. Download x86 and x64. Download both the version. Now when both the version get downloaded, double click on x64 version. Now if you see repair option over here then repair it. If you see install option then click on install option. Click yes to allow. Now double click on x86 version. Now again if you see repair option then repair it. And if you see install option then install it click yes to allow. Now after the successful installation of both the C++ files, you can launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not. Fixed well is to verify the integrity of game files. So open Steam and go to library. 
right click on NBA 2K 26K and select properties. Go to install files tab, then click on verify integrity of game files. And after the verification of the files, you can launch the game and check if your problem is fixed or not. 13th solution is to install DirectX. So go to this website, the link is given in video description. And once you are on the site, click on download, then double click it and install the DirectX on your PC. And after the installation of DirectX, you can launch the game and check if your problem is fixed or not. What installation is to update Windows. So click on Windows icon, go to settings. On the left, click on Windows update and then click on check for updates. And if you find any updates available for your PC, then download and install them and then restart your PC once and then you can launch the game and check. And the last solution is to uninstall and reinstall NBA 2K 26K. Now, if none of the solution work in your case, then the last solution is to simply uninstall NBA 2K 26 game from your PC, restart your PC, and then reinstall the game. Reinstall the game on SSD in local drive, or you can reinstall the game on external SSD drive, and then you can launch the game and check. So by this way, you can fix the NBA 2K 26 game not launching, won't launch, crashing, crashing to desktop or crashes at a startup, freezing issue, not loading, stuck on loading screen or black screen problem on PC. So that's all for this video. If this video helped you, then please like and subscribe to my channel, share this video and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. Thank you.